کزوت اصحاب العقت المرسلین دی پیپل آف ڈیولرز آف دی تھک وڈ آلسو بی لائٹ دی میسنجرس اس کار الحم شعیب دس مدین اور تھک وڈ تھکٹ ون تھنگ اور دے آر سسٹر ٹرائبس مے بی دیر آر ٹو اپینینس اباؤٹ دس بٹ دی میسنجر ہو سینڈ ٹو بوتھ اف دے ور ٹو ڈفرینٹ ٹرائبس then the messenger to both was hazrat shuaib alai salatu wassalam but if the the names are two but they denote one tribe and one nation then it's okay kazaba ashabul aqat al mursalin is qala lahum shuaib wa la tattaqun when their brother shuaib said to them don't you fear allah inni lakum rasulun amin i am for you a trustworthy messenger fattaqullah wa ati'un so have fear of allah and obey me wa ma asalukum alai min ajr and i don't demand from you any wage in ajri illa ala rabbil alamin my wages on allah who is the lord of all the worlds awful kal give full measure wala takunu min al mukhsirin don't become those who cause loss to the others wazinu bil qistas al mustaqim and weigh with a straight balance wala tabkhasun nas ashiyahum and don't diminish the goods of the people wala ta'asu fi al-ardi mufsidin and make no mischief in the land as corruptors wa taqullaha wa taqul ladhi khalaqakum wal jibilat al-awwalin and fear him who created you and the former generations qalu inna ma anta min al-musahharin they said you are from among the bewitched people wa ma anta illa basharu mislun you are nothing but a mortal human being like us وَإِن نَظُنُّكَ لَا مِنَ الْكَاذِبِينَ And we think that you are from among the liars. You are telling a lie. فَاسْتِتْ عَلَىٰ دَا كِسَوَ مِنَ السَّمَاءَ إِن كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ If you are one of the truthful, then now cause a fragment of the heaven to fall down upon us. قَالَ رَبِّ عَالَمُ مَا تَعْمَلُونَ He said, my Lord knows best what you are doing. And He will decide your fate whenever He likes. فَكَذَّبُوهُ So they belied him. فَاقَذَهُمْ عَذَابُ يَوْمِ الزُّ اللَّهِ And then you know, the chastisement on the sh- of the shadow of a gloomy cloud took over them. إِنَّهُ كَانَ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ Verily, it was a chastisement of a very great day, mighty day. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ الْآيَةِ Verily, in this is an ayah, a sign. وَمَا كَانَ أَكْسَرُهُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ But most of them are not going to believe. وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ Now in the last section, the address is to Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and the people. You know, this all was history which was being narrated for them. Now what Muhammad has to say صلى الله عليه وسلم to the people and what Allah is saying to the nation of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. وَإِنَّهُ لَتَنزِيلُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Verily, this Quran is descending down from the Lord of all the worlds. نظر بہر روح الامین دی ٹرسٹ ورڈ دی اسپرٹ روح الامین ار روح الامین ہی ہیز کم ڈاؤن ود اٹ ہیز براڈ ڈاؤن اللہ قلب کا اپن یور ہارٹ او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم لتکون من المنذرین سو دیٹ یو آلسو بیکم ون اف دی وارنرز بے لسان عربی مبین اینڈ دس قران ہیز بین سینڈ ڈاؤن ان پلین عربک ٹنگ وَإِنَّهُ رَفِي زُبَرِ الْأَوَّلِينَ And surely it is mentioned in the scriptures of the ancients. أَوَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُمْ آيَةً أَنْ يَعْلَمُهُ أَنْ يَعْلَمَهُ عُلَمَاءُ بَنِ إِسْرَائِيلِ Is it not a sign for, do, for them, that is, the people of Bakka, that the learned of the children of Israel know this? They know, they were waiting that the last messenger of Allah is to come and the time of his advent has come very near. They were waiting for him. They know it. وَلَوْ نَزَّلْنَاهُ عَلَىٰ بَعْدِ الْعَجَمِينَ عَجَمِينَ And if we had sent it down to any of the foreign men, فَقَرَاهُ عَلَيْهِمْ And he would have recited it to them, مَا كَانُوا بِهِ مُؤْمِنِينَ Even then, they were not to believe it. كَذَلِكَ سَلَكْنَاهُ فِي قُلُوبِ الْمُجْرِمِينَ In this way, we have caused the disbelief of this Quran to enter the hearts of the guilty. لا يؤمنون به they will not believe in it حتى يرب العذاب الالم 
until they see with their, their own eyes the great chastisement, painful. Fayatiyahum baktatan. But this will come to them suddenly. Wahum la yashurun. And they will have no idea about it when it is coming. It will come and seize them suddenly. Fayakuru hal nahna munzarun. At that time they will say, can we be given some respite? Afabi azabina yastajilun. Do you are hastening for our chastisement? Have you considered if we give them comforts of life for some years? And then there comes to them that which they have been promised. So whatever they will be given, wealth or sons, they will be of no avail at that time. And we never destroyed any township, any city. But there had been warners who had come to them already. Zikra, this is admonition. This is reminding. And we have never been unjust. And you say that this Quran is being sent down to Muhammad by some satans? No. Not the satans have come down with this Quran. It's not possible for them. It not behaves of them. And they have no power to do it. They have been banished from hearing. So don't call besides Allah, with Allah, some other God. You will become among those who are chastised, going to be chastised. وَأَنزِرْ عَشِرَةَ كَلَقْرَوِينَ and warn your clan, your near relatives. Upon the coming down of this ayah, the Prophet wasallam then asked Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, go and arrange for a feast and call all the people of Bani Hashim to come to the feast. So they came and they took the meals. Then the Prophet stood up to convey to them the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to warn them that a day of judgment is coming, to warn them that you will be resurrected. But you know, people did, didn't listen to him. So they went away. But then after some days, the Prophet again ordered Hazrat Ali radiallahu an to arrange for another feast. And again, you know, they were invited. This time, when he stood up to say something, at least they listened to him. But nobody accepted his message. Except Ali radiallahu anhu. He stood up and said, although I am the youngest of all, and although my legs are very weak, and you know, my eyes are sore, but I will help you. I will be with you in this mission. And the whole congregation burst into laughter. This is the person who wants to change the destiny of the world. And this is the helper. Wanzir Ashiratakal Akrabin. Warn your clan and the dear relatives. Wakfis Janaha Kalimani Tabakam and Mominin. And you lower down your wings for those who follow you from among your believers. Fina Sauka. And if they are the Quraysh, if they are not listening to you, they are disobeying to you, Fakul. Proclaim, I am away and I disapprove of what you are doing. And you should put all your trust in Allah who is Al-Aziz and Al-Rahim, who is all-powerful, almighty, but as well as all-merciful. Who sees you when you stand up, especially during the night, when the Prophet ﷺ used to stay and stand, Ya ayyuhal muzzammil, qumil layla illa qalila, nisfahu awin kusmin hu qalila, awzid alayhi wa ratil qur'ana tartila. So Allah says, Allah zi yaraka, we see you. When you stand before us and recite Qur'an, we see you. Allah zi yaraka hina taqum, wa taqalluba ka fissajideen. And when you are, and we also see, the, you are moving about among those who prostrate themselves. He used to go and visit people also. But the 
Mumineen, the believers are doing, are also dhara. They are also busy in praying to Allah or not. Innahu huwa samiyul ali. Verily, he is all listening, all knowing. Hal unabiyokum alaman tanazuru shayatin. Should I tell you upon whom the Saturns descend? Tanazuru ala kulle afaqin nasib. They descend upon every lying, sinful person. Yulkuna sama waqsarum kazibun. They give ear and they do, you know, convey to these people something. But most of them are liars. These jinnat, you know, they used to hear something from the angels and then conveying that to the people in, the, in, this, in this world, human beings. You know, those kahin and amil, people, you know, who have an acquaintance with the jinnat and they get some of the news from the jinnat some of them are correct but mostly they are lies false hal unabbiukum ala man tanazzalu shayateen tanazzalu ala kulli afaqin asim yulqud as-sam'a wa aksarhum kazibun wa shu'ara yattabi'u mul ghabun another thing which was being said about muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was that he is a poet No doubt he is composing a first class poetry. They said this Quran is a beautiful poetry and he is a very skillful poet. But Allah says no. The poets, only the erring people follow them, not serious people. Don't you see these poets? They wander in every valley. Now talking of this side, now talking of that world, and now saying something regarding this, and now saying something regarding that. They keep on wandering in all the valleys. And that they say what they don't do. This is so much, so to say, this statement is so true. That the greatest Muslim poet of this century, which is coming to an end, that was Allah Iqbal. But he was also not a practicing man. This truth is very bitter, but we have to acknowledge it. Regarding his thought, he was very high, very high, very high. But his practicing of the religion was very low. At a very low scale. In Nahum Yakulu Namala Yafadu. This rule of Quran is so strict and so, you know, applicable that there seem to be, maybe there might be uh, exceptions, but only few exceptions. By Nahum Yakulu Namala Yafadu. The poet of the Sahaba. Hassan ibn Sabit, he was a Sahabi companion. He was the poet. He used to say naat for Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and reply the, the poets of the kuffar when they were you know, speaking ill of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He used to compose poetry defending Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But he was also a coward person, not a man of the field. This incident happened during the battle of Ahzab. He was left with the women. You know, all the women folk, they were gathered in one big building. And only Hazrat Hassan was left there. All the other people were on the war front. Now Hazrat Safiya, radiyallahu anha, the aunt of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa she saw a Jew coming in a doubtful manner. He had some ill intentions. So she said, Hassan, go and kill him. He said, no, I can't do this. Had this been possible for me, I would have been on the front. So Hazrat Safiya took a wood and then struck that Jew, killed, her, killed him, and then said, Hassan, go and have the weapon. Now you take the weapons from him. He said, I don't need them. So plain. I don't need them. So Hazrat Hassan ibn Sabit, a very big poet, very good poet, 
بٹ ناٹ اے مین آف دی فیلڈ وشواراؤ یا تم اوب الغابون علم طرح انہم فیق اللہ وادی یہی مون و انہم یقول نہ مالا یا فالون اللہ لذین آمن و عامل صالحات و ذکر اللہ و ذکر و کثیر بن تصر و مباد ماض علم بٹ دیئر ول بی ایکسپشنس ایکسپٹ دوز ہو کم ٹو بلیو اینڈ دین دے ڈو گڈ ڈیڈس اینڈ دے ریممبر اللہ مچ آف دا ٹائم ون تصر و مباد ماض علم ون ڈیفینڈ دم سیلز آفٹر بینگ رانگڈ وسیالم الزین ظلم ایم القلب ین قلبون اینڈ ویری سون دوز ہو آر رانگ ان ڈوئنگ رانگ تھنگس ول کم ٹو نو ٹو وٹ ایونچوئل پلیس دے آر گوئنگ ٹو بی اوور ٹرنڈ سو دس از صورت الشعراء 